Yo guys, what's going on? Oh man, three games down. I think this is the last one for yep. tonight, but this will be... Here we are. We're back. We got a new deck. ADP. RC style Gapalkia. <laughs> ADP. Versus an older deck, Guardian. We got new versus old. Guardian has already been proven to do well at some places, mainly in Europe. But it's also gotten some hype and some new cheeky tools from the new Cosmic Eclipse set. And we're pairing it against a deck that just came out from the Cosmic Eclipse set, Arceus, Diog, and Palkia. Pretty interesting deck, to say the least. Um, well, do we know who's going first? So, uh, RC Style of Palkia has the first, but I don't think that's going to be as big of a deal because sometimes I think Meg would like to go second because of Fairy Song. It just doesn't matter. It, it's like, oh, you, you went first? All right, I'll just Fairy Song. But, um... So, Zach starts to Dene, which kind of sucks. Um, and Meg starts Guardian, which is pretty neat for her. Zach goes for the Poke Gear, grabs a Cynthia. So, he's going to be able to start his things going. But while Zach's playing out his turn, I'll give you a quick rundown of this new deck. So, Arceus Dialga Palkia, it has a whopping 280 hit points. 10 more, as if 270 was not enough. They gotta, they gotta amp it up to 280. I mean, I remember when Tag Teams first came out, and like, uh, Pikaram was like one of the first ones. We thought 240 was ridiculous. <laughs> I would say, to be fair, though, that they have three Pokemon in the picture, so... Good point, fine. good point. It, it fits with the theme, you know? They're, they're trying to make a practical game with rules, but they're trying to fit the logic of stuffing three Pokemon into one card, and I can appreciate that. Um, on an, a sort of related note, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres Tag Team, they had 300 health, I believe. So, it's just <laughs> getting bigger and bigger. Um, but unlike uh, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, I think this tag team trio will be played a lot more. Um, just like the card just mentioned, this the attack has multiple energy cost. So for a water, metal, and colorless, it does 150, and you can search your deck for any three basic energies and attach them in any way you like. So a while ago we had Picaram. For three lightning, 150, the same damage, but you could only get three energy onto one Pokemon. Now it's any energy, any way you like, which is kind of bonkers. Um, looks like Meg got her usual turn with the Fairy Song, and now it looks like Zack is ripping it. Um, I think he would like the ideal way to go would get an ADP and then an ends resolve and then just go nuts um, before Meg let's try maybe Zach wants to go nuts before Meg can get that guardian set up um, because RC's Dialogapalkia is weak to fairy Meg can just go attach tag switch collide storm for knockout and then Zach would be like Ah, oh, that would that would be rough. So, the big thing that people are hyping about Arceus Dialga Palkia is its crazy GX deck. It's similar to Lucario and Melmetals, where it has an effect. It it starts with doing 30 less. This is the opposite. Your Pokemon do 30 more. But the big crazy part that everyone's hyped about is that if you not only have a metal 
you can also have a water. Yep, so certain decks like Malamar, Pidgeotto, Single Prizers, they hate this so much. It just, it pretty much ruins the whole idea of the deck. Because like with Gar with Malamar, you're just going to uh, cycle your Giratina, spread some damage, and then finish with a big uh, cross division. Arceus Dalgapalki says, no, you only get three chances. This deck did had a placement in Japan, and that's where everyone got this idea from. Um, right now, everyone seems to be pairing it with the Keldeo GX, um, mainly used for Pure Heart, but it can actually attack. It's perfect for this deck, needing two water and a colorless. So if you're like Guardian and only run GXs, Keldeo can just wall you out and just use Sonic Edge over and over. Um, one thing to note is that Meg has four Power Plant, which could shut down Keldeo, but the reason this Keldeo is so hyped now is because you can drop Chaotic Swell, and I don't think Meg is running any way to get around Swell. So if Zack can just throw up a Keldeo, drop Swell, you can just swing over and over and over and over again. Um, Chaotic Swell is a new card that just came out. It says whenever whenever either player drops a new stadium to replace it, Chaotic Swell says nope and sends that stadium right back to the discard. Chaotic Swell does get bumped. However, you lose your stadium. So... Meg will have to put down Plant first in order to get around Keldeo, but she doesn't one-shot it unless she's using Mega Law Pony and Jigglypunch, which is another um, new card that just came out. But ideally, um, Meg's going to drop a Power Plant to stop Keldeo, but then Zack's just going to drop Chaotic Swell, bump the Power Plant. Then Megan's got to drop another Power Plant to get rid of the Swell. But then she's back to square one, so that she has to drop another, her third plant, and then Zack just goes Chaotic Swell. And Zack can easily win the Stadium War with Chaotic Swell, and just um, heal with Mal and Lana, get it back with Cynthia Caitlin. So it's trying to get around Keldeo is such a pain in the neck for Megan. Um, that's going to be one of her biggest difficulties. But it looks like Megan is setting up okay. Um, the deck, Guardian is generally a little slow. But it looks like Megan's setting up fine. It looks like Zack's already used the Altered Creation and he's going to start swinging soon. Um, which fairy charm does Meg dragon? dragon? So it looks like M Meg opted to throw in some fairy charm dragons. Um, to stop new tag teams such as Reshazek and ADP. Um, perfect for them. Psychic ability and dragon seems like a pretty good way to go. Um, looks like Zack is going to manage to get off the big ultimate ray and instantly charge up this Keldeo and then he'll be fine. Um, other noticeable things is about the engine that Zack runs. Um, no one is really sure on how we should play ADP right now. Zack seems to opt to go for an ends resolve Jirachi build. Ends resolve. Look, discard the top six cards of your deck and attach any basic energies to your bench dragon in any way you like. To one of your bench dragon. It's not in any way you like. It is to one of your bench. So ideally, you just want to go turn one, ends resolve, onto Arceus Dialogapalkia, retreat, ultimate ray, and then you're cooking. Um, this deck takes massive advantage of tag call, being able to search out your ADP, Cynthia and Caitlyn's, Mallow and Lana. And one interesting card that Zack has opted to throw into his deck is Bellaba and Bryson Man. I absolutely love this card, um, but instead of using it to mill, 
but instead of just milling out your opponent, which you could do, it is a possibility if your opponent gets too low, um, the main thing we're going to use it for is um, limiting the bench to three. This sort of hurts Pidgeotto a little, not much. Um, sort of hurts Malmar, sort of hurts Volcarona. But the main reason we want to use Bellabone Bryson Man is if we have a damaged ADP or we have a damaged Caldeo or something along those lines. And we just want to get rid of those. Um, if your opponent takes a big swing, maybe if they're playing like um, Brazard, Brazard doesn't really one shot Arceus Dialga Palkia that easy. So we can just retreat at the bench and Bellabone Bryson Man and just get rid of it. Um, Resh Zek. Another notable thing, an another notable matchup that does not one shot ADP, being able to just switch Bellaburn Bryce Man it away. Another key use for um, Bellaburn, the, the main big use for Bellaburn Bryce Man is if they don't have an answer to Keldeo and you get rid of your Dedenes and. Um, Diagopalkias, so that you have your two Keldeos, and then maybe like two Jirachis, or some or some way that they can't take six knockout, the six prizes, so then you just shut them out with Keldeo. An interesting card that Zach opts to run, but seems to not be using it in this matchup, because he really doesn't need to, is Drampa, with the dragon arcana attack arcana for three colorless energy it does 70 base and if this pokemon has two or more different types of energy attached to it i think it's basic different types of basic this attack does 70 more damage this is awesome because it one shots garatina it one shots a lot of non gx attackers which can kind of give this deck a little bit of issue except for the fact that you have altered creation um there is an ideal world where you go dragon arcana knock something out take two prizes maybe like one shot a single prizer take multiple prizes and then they knock you out it's it's a neat single prize it's probably the best single prize attacker that this deck can utilize um other than that, I don't really see anything else that's too out of the ordinary. Um, we can move. Well, we can move over to Megan's list. Guardian. This deck has already been out for a little while, so I don't think it needs too much um, explanation. The biggest thing it gets is Cynthia, Caitlyn, Malawana. Um, and and great catcher. Mega Law Punny is neat, being able to um, up your damage potential because Guardian never really one shots anything, but because now you have Mega Law Punny and Jigglypuff, now you have a way to one shot certain Pokemon. Um, Megan opted to go two great catcher and two custom catcher. Um, I would be a little weird, uh, weary about or worried about prizing a custom catcher because then it basically becomes useless. Um, personally, I think three is good, but looking at everything else that Megan has, it's kind of rounds itself out because two tag call is amazing in this deck being able to search almost anything being able to search a pokemon supporter um, you've got four power plant which is what you want you have your charms um maybe you could drop a psychic charm for the third custom um but i kind of like meg's list it just incorporates new cards from Cosmic Eclipse. Um, nothing too spicy. Um, I guess we could talk about the charms. 
Um, a lot of dragons are being hyped now with ADP and Resh Sex, so Meg chooses to go for two Fairy Charms, which is going to work out really good in this matchup. Um, two Ability Charms, which stops Mew Mew. Um, it stops Volcarona. It stops... Mainly, it's mainly for Mewtwo. Um, well, uh, Keldeo has an ability. Um, but Sonic Edge prevent goes through it. Oh yes, that's right. That's why I didn't mention it. Um, there's specific uses for ability fairy charm. Um, Meg, why did you do you, you know off the top of your head why you specifically chose fairy charm psychic? So just a backup plan for Mew Mew. Mm. You can do your charms however you like. This is just the way that Megan shows her charms. Um, there's plenty of options for this deck. Um, but other than that, everything else is pretty much the same as um, previous, before co pre-Cosmic Eclipse Garneon. Um, looking over at some notes that Zach had for ADP pretty standard outside of Drampa uh, he says Drampa gives you a one shot on Keldeo in the mirror because of the GX attack so it's 70 plus 70 because of the bonus and then the GX attack does 170 giving you a perfect knockdown on Keldeo and then you take three prizes Ends resolved means you can drop him out of nowhere. One thing to note is the deck is going to skill at knowing when to alter creation versus ultimate rank when going first in select matchups. A case can be made for fourth swell, so plant is harder to stick. I really like the idea of Drampa, and I think. looks like it's now getting up to the game we're still in game one it looks like they're kind of going back and forth Meg managed to knock out an Arceus and ADP um, but Zach just straight goes for the Caldeo Sonic Edge Sonic Edge goes through a Belly Charm So Meg's just a little unsure about a ruling. Yeah, she was unsure about the interaction between Fairy Charm ability and Sonic Edge. Um, and because Zack used his GX move, Keldeo is now two-shotting um, Guardian. So Meg does have is ready for a Magical Miracle if she desires. Just depends if it's the way to go or not. Just gonna have to be able to get around this Caldeo somehow. She has three prizes, so ideally she would like to kill a Dedene and then kill a Jirashi. Um, one line of play that Zack potentially could do it. Of course, could be prized, but one thing he needs to watch out for is being able to Bellaba and Bryce him in. Like I'm basically doing the same thing that I mentioned earlier, uh, dropping another Keldy or dropping another Jirachi, and then Bellaba and Bryce him in to get rid of the Denes. Then that pretty much seals Meg out of the game. Um, but Meg still has options. I'm not quite sure how many great catchers or custom catchers she's used. Um, but if she has access to all her great catchers and custom catchers, she could just gust around everything. Um, Meg's doing a little bit of thinking. Not quite sure what's in her hand, but she does have options. Zach is sitting pretty chill right now. You 
Megxing opted to discard Great Catcher. I'm not quite sure why they discard the Great Catcher. Ideally, we would have used Great Catcher to bring up Dedenne in Miraculous Miracle. Quite sure how Megan wins now. Meg's still thinking. She already used her support for turn. Is that chaotic swell in play or in the loss? Because it was just underneath the GX counter. It looks like it's in the loss side. Alright. So even if Meg plays a stadium, that chaotic swell would just bump it back out. <laughs> you have any ideas for how Meg could win? Or... Yeah. Not quite sure. Yeah, this chaotic swell is quite a problem. Um, and I think Zach has the advantage right now. Um, Megan has four power plant in the deck, and four is still not a big number if your opponent's running a bunch of chaotic swells to get rid of them. I'm not quite sure what Meg's Double great potion. Uh, she does heal, but I don't really think that's what she needs right now. Were there any custom catcher in the discard? Cause like, oh man. Cause if there's no custom catcher, then ideally, so that gets bumped. So Meg opts to play the power plant, but it just gets bumped cause of Chaos One. Ideally, Meg would have great catcher up to Dene. It looks like that Dedenne already has damage on it. So she could have Kaleidostorm the Dedenne for knockout and then be able to keep her energy in play. Now this is an unprecedented move right here. So we've got a Magical Miracle GX, which still gets the secondary effect, but no damage. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. A no damage GX attack on the Guardian. But the problem is that it doesn't really do anything for Meg. Zach just says, okay, Sonic Age, what are you gonna do? And now that Great Catcher's gone. See, I see Meg would have. Does Meg have double custom catcher? See, ideally Meg would have just passed her Kaleidostormed and then grabbed the power plant. I mean, it's just, oh man. I think if Meg did not get rid of that great catcher, she would have had this. I really do. What can Meg do now? Like, oh man, she already used her GX attack, so she's now one shotting this Keldia. But to be fair, because she collide, um, Magical Miracle, Zach only has a one card hand. So Zach's got to hope that he maybe draws into something. Um, but even still, he just goes for Sonic Edge and knocks out a Guardian. So maybe Meg can, like, so do some switching shenanigans and avoid the knockout but if Zach gets this knockout he gets four prizes and that basically means that um, everything's back to what it was um, 
Meg does get the Mega Law, her one of Mega Law Pony um, from Cherish Ball. And she can attach for turn, tag switch, maybe do some switching shenanigans, and then be able to one shot this guy. And Zach scoops. Alrighty, so Meg got it back in there, even though she got rid of the Great Catcher. We thought it was game over as soon as uh, Zach had that chaotic swell, and but uh, but man, it looks like uh, look, looks like we had a, a, a twist there with the magical miracle GX. You know, I wasn't thinking about it. Like, you know, you, you typically uh, you know just never seen a zero damage <laughs> magical miracle before. That's that's what's throwing me off. My main thing is like I'm thinking about what is Meg's main win condition. And when she trashes Great Catcher, it's just like... Yeah, I realized that, so I had to take a second off. And it, it's like... Um, it's like... Uh, scratching the head is... So maybe that could be a line of play going forward is... Magical Miracle, like bump the stadium, Magical Miracle, and then PowerPoint. Did you have second custom catcher in deck? I had both in deck. See, and then you just go greens, custom catcher, knockout. But that is why we test and practice so that we realize and learn from our mistakes. Try and cut around it. That's true. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? Never punished. Do you feel that Guardian is a favored or an unfavored matchup to ADP? Oh gosh, I I thought that like this was uh, this was gonna be something of a one-sided match uh, that they were just gonna try to make look good for us on camera. I thought it was one-sided in favor of Guardian, but um, but you know especially uh, because of the fairy weakness, really. But but no, no man, this is uh, this is really it could go both ways. I think all of uh, all four of our matches that we've had um, making tonight um, have all been really good matches. And if you haven't checked out the other ones, you should definitely go give those a check in. Yep, we're setting this up so that uh, you know just links from one one video to the next. Uh, so we'll we'll make it really easy for you. And uh, follow our social media. We're on Facebook, and we are on Twitter. At end one for you. I guess while they're setting up, we could put it on the screen. Oh, absolutely. So it looks like Zach cherishes balls just for the Caldeo. Well, heard his pride was in the mail. That's true. Zach's gonna think think some things through. He's just gonna attach for turn. What's Zach thinking? Cynthia, get a fresh hand. Not too shabby.
Zach gets a Jirachi, and he, just, he says, you know what? I'm fine. We'll just pass it on to you. Meg just slaps down the greens, gets greens and Cherish Ball. Meg's been playing Guardian for a little while, so I think she already knows what she wants to do. Um, and she just goes for the Fairy Sign. What a quick turn. Right back to Zach. One of my favorite things about Fairy Song is the attack doesn't say you must attach energy to another Guardian, which, you know, from my perspective, that just makes it a really flexible deck. Um, yeah, yes, that that is that is uh, a a restriction. Yes, um, I tried playing around with it, like mixing the deck with Salasaur. Uh, just as a way to get around uh, not having double colorless energy anymore. Mm. But but uh, I think it's really cool that you don't have to attach it to another Guardian, right? So you can put it on your um, your, your benched Megalopunny. Um, people were playing around with uh, Xerneas GX, which that's probably still going to be a thing. But I don't know. I, I like this, uh, this uh, sidekick right here, the tag team... Uh, Jigglypuff low punny. I like that a lot better than the Xerneas. Meg's running Xerneas. You do it for the Geomancy. And it's a two prize. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Meg's doing her usual greens thing. Until things start attacking, that's really what you want to do every turn is greens, 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 greens. It's a good supporter. As long as you have no abilities, you can just search for any two trainers. And this deck is pretty much all trainers. So you pretty much get to search for any two cards. Base, essentially, in this deck. So it looks like she's opting to grab Tag Switch and Charm, not too shabby. So she must have some sort of follow-up in her hand, I assume. And I think if she... Uh, looks like she's going straight for the Kaleido Storm. And here's where the weakness matters oh so much. She goes for the Kaleido Storm, obliterating that... ADP for 300 damage. Looks like she's opting to keep the energy on to Guardi. I thought they just dropped a card in the middle of a match, but looks like Megan had a had a quick hand and caught it. Yeah. <laughs> so now that uh, Zach has two Caldi on board and only one Jirachi. If he gets in this, if he gets the swell, and if he can keep up the swells, I think he can shut Meg out of this game. Interesting. So Zach's pretty much saying, well, if I get this Jirachi knocked out, then she'll go down to two. And even if she knocks out another Jirachi, she'll just go down to one. She's still not dealing with the Keldeo problem. Switch. Going to Stellar Wish again, trying to get as much stuff going on as possible. Um, I don't know if Zach can win necessarily. I mean, Meg goes for the knockout. Maybe she has Power Plant Kesher and just kill the Keldeo and then. 
That seems like, oh, yikes. If she can great catch her up, Keldia. Because it looks like all she's done is a couple greens and some switching shenanigans. Um, see, she got the greens. Um, she could, there's so many different things she could grab. Um, looks like she's going for custom and... It all depends on what she's already got in hand. It looks like she's opting for the wonder. If I if I were Zach and I wanted an easy, you know, a, a quick six prizes, I mean, I'm I'm going for that early altered creation GX, and in fact, you know, de depending on on what kind of pinch you're in, you might want to go for that. That that's probably a bigger deal than the um, than the chaotic swell, as powerful as that is in this match. Um, the altered creation, uh, just. That, that can, can influence the effect of the game uh, heavily, just like a lot of GX attacks can. Man. And Meg just custom catcher and straight whomps this uh, Caldeo. Um, one thing that I think I would have done is maybe do great catcher instead. Because if I already have Custom Catcher, I only need that one turn to kill the Keldeo. Um, and then I can just go double Custom Catcher, Jirachi for game. Now, Meg needs to get... So, ideally, I think Meg could have won this turn. So, if instead of getting the Wonder Lab, I think she should have gotten the Great Catcher. Looks like Meg did a little awkward um, thing. <sighs> Meg's doing a little bit of thinking. She definitely needs to replace this stadium. But what does she do after? Zach gets the Chaotic Swell. It looks like that's Chaotic Swell number two, if I'm correct. Yeah. And he just goes for the pass. So what can Meg do? Does she have... It looks like she still has that Wonder Labyrinth from earlier to bump the stadium. But what is she going to do afterwards? Looks like she's going for a Tag Call. Maybe thinning out the deck or preparing Mount. She has, she can grab. She she only has two uh, different tag team supporters that she can grab. Um, she can grab another Guardian, Mega Log Pony if it's available. Um, Cynthia and Caitlyn, Mal and Lana. But um, while there are limited options, it can get you um, a bunch of things. But I think mainly for setting up some switching and healing shenanigans or just going ahead and thinning out the deck. She get, opts to grab one of each of her tag team supporters. Yeah, I, I like this. I, I thought that putting a one of supporter in, in your deck was going to be a problem, especially the ones with the really cool effects like, like Mallow and Lana, like movie stars. But I think we're gonna learn over the next few weeks that this um, this tag call card, this is what's gonna make uh, just one of supporters. It's gonna make it very practical. In Zach's list, he has a one of Mal and Lana and one of Bella and Bryson in, so that you can see it working out there. 
Um, but for Meg, she would like to have more copies of Mal and Lana because um, she's a tanking deck. Get you switching and healing, uh, which is pretty nice. Wonder what Meg's thinking now. I think she went for greens. Yeah. Looks like she went for greens and power plant. So basically, if the last chaotic swell is prized, uh, Zach might be a little out of luck. I'm kind of unsure why Meg used the power plant instead. Dead of the Wonder Lab. How many power plant does Meg have left? One. So Meg opts to just fly to storm. Zach can finally get his attacks going, but is it too late? Luckily for him, the Jirachis are protected because um, Custom Catcher is not an option now. And Great Catcher is useless now. Um, so in terms of gusting, Zack is pretty safe. He knows he can just hide behind this Keldeo and just keep poking. And maybe he just hopes that Meg doesn't have an out to Keldeo. Who knows, the power plant could be the last prize, but I don't, the, the chances of that are pretty slim. But it is a possibility. I think if Meg knew that power plant was prized, I think she would have played things differently or scooped. So I don't think. Looks like Meg's, I think it's Meg's turn. She's doing a little bit of thinking. going through Meg's head. That'll be a feature in uh, in future podcasting technology. A <laughs> device that is attached to your head while you're playing Pokemon and it just transmits directly to the video. Someone's working on it. Haven't we seen so many moments like this in the Pokemon trading card game before where you spend several consecutive turns just on the brink, on the brink of victory, just a standstill at one prize. I mean, look look at just the, the sequencing of all the, all the uh, events in this game and look what had to happen for Megan to get down to one prize. And she's burned up her custom catchers so she's stuck here, uh, just with this one prize left. It's it's exciting. We don't know how this thing is gonna end. Does Meg have power? Plant? I believe she does. What is Megan's win
exact plan. Poke gear. Looks like he's just thinning the deck. Front row. A couple cards got mixed up. Having difficulty shuffling, but it's on good. He was just standing in awe of the enormous power of N's resolve, and so it just got his hand shooken up a little bit. Any card with N in it is obviously good. Ops to just play Cynthia and Caitlyn. Getting some good cards. And he goes ahead. <laughs> oh, man. Gus, this is a big turn for Zach. We've been waiting for this. It finally pulls off for Zach. How does the biggest thing is how does <laughs> you're kind of unsure about what to do? She's kind of like a just both players have exhausted a lot of resources. They both use their GX. It's it's a dire situation right now. I mean, like I said last game, I'm I'm thinking, what is Meg's win condition? So she does the Cynthia and Caitlin. Get some draws in that match. I think I actually do know a way that Meg could win, but I don't want to see. I'm unsure. I'm unsure about that play specifically. Zach, knowing that there's no threat of custom catcher, just can drop Drachis and drop Viridian. Decides to attach Drachi. I think Zach already knows what plan that I was thinking of, and maybe Meg was already thinking of. I think he's already trying to protect against the strategy. So it looks like Zach gets the switching effect and just trying to thin the deck as much as possible. Ooh, Zach ripped the reset stamp off <laughs> Stellar Wish. I think he knew exactly what Meg was going for. I think Meg was just one turn too late. I really think I was in it. <laughs> That's the card I was thinking about. <laughs> Not quite sure what Meg wants to do. time I believe um, 
And Zach would just take the knockout with Keldeo. Guys, stick with Jirachi. Alright. I slept for 120. Watch her creation of weakness. Nice. So this best uh, best of three ends up with a one win on both sides. Should we do sudden death or not? Because time got called. I was about to say, no, that's, that's not, not fair. Yeah. I All right. Yeah, I was about to say, I wouldn't agree to that in any world because I just get 80, like if I start ADP, I lose. Yeah. I, I start ADP, yeah. Okay. Well, then I guess we can wrap up then. <laughs> I mean, if that was a normal tournament match, it would have just been. Match. We take the draw. We yeah. Yeah. go about our way. Yeah. There's, there's no world where I'm like, yeah, you know what? You can swing on me for turn two and just knock me out. That's cool, Sway. <laughs> um, but luckily, we got to see each, both decks uh, pop off and do their thing. Yeah. Um, uh, so you couldn't drink Catcher Yeah. yeah. I, like, you reset stand. Of course I did. I was like, boy, I can end the game with a slap. Watch this. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, this was fun. One thing that I've seen, like, uh, some of these start playing <laughs> is um, Nova Lucario and Tag Switch, so you can just, like, ultimate ray onto it and then just start punching Guardian really hard. We're going to put up our social media on here real quick on the screen. Eridos. Goodbye. Goodbye.